Lawsuits are not just about money. Oftentimes, people just want to get their lives back. Stay tuned to hear from Jeannie Harrison about a case that made a huge difference in someone's life. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Michael J. Swanson. Michael is the author of How David Beats Goliath and is the CEO of Advocate Capital. And now, here's Michael. Jeannie, thanks for being here today. Thanks, Mike, for having me. Yeah, thanks a lot. I know how busy you are. So, hey, tell me about this case you had that made a difference in someone's life. This was, uh, I think, a nurse supervisor, and it involved the county out there? Our client um, was a supervisor, a nurse supervisor, uh, for the county of Los Angeles. And she's about 50 years old, and she was doing just fine. She had a couple of disabilities for which she was being accommodated. So she had what's called a 312 schedule. She was working three days a week, 12 hours a day. Um, and she didn't have to do clinical duties, meaning, you know, actually physically taking care of the patients. She was a supervisor supervising yeah. the nurses who were taking care of the patients. Okay. So there was a younger, much younger woman, about half her age, um, who came, came in and basically got the supervisorial job, the administrator supervisor job above our client. This new supervisor was about 25, 28 years old, and she just really could not understand um, the accommodations that the county had been providing mm. for our client for a number mm. of years. And this new supervisor wanted to just change everything and take away all of the accommodations. She didn't think that that, you know, it was it was as productive or useful for the county for our client to be having uh the schedule or the accommodations that our client was being provided and so of course because our client's disabilities are actually real in terms of compressed um, discs and actual nerve damage so that yeah. her right hand her dominant hand you know shakes when she holds it out and she can't actually suture or sew or have you know she's got really impaired fine motor skills on her hands mm -hmm she couldn't go and do clinical work. And the schedule that, that the new supervisor wanted her to have was a 540. So working five days a week, a week eight hours a day, 40 hours that way. Mm -hmm. um, but our client actually recuperated. She was able to continue mm -hmm. working full time because of these accommodations that she had had. And so working consistently every day without days off in between was causing her additional exacerbation of all of her pain, basically all yeah. the pain that she had. And she has to go out on leave because she simply cannot do the work with this new schedule of wow. a you know, younger administrator um, who just doesn't understand. And so we filed the case, we were litigating, and eventually we got, we got to the point where we were able to have a productive conversation with opposing counsel, including county counsel, and say, you know, in, in a conference room and say, Here's the reality. This is the truth about the impairment that, yeah. you know, our client has. So let's talk about the county's going to be if I have to try this case, this is going to be, you know, an eight figure case, probably because wow. of her lost wages, mm -hmm. her lost pension and her lost benefits. It's going to be a significant blow to the county. Mm -hmm. So you have an option of putting her back to work in a position where she could be accommodated and where she could be happy and you could have her services and her skills back yeah. in the workforce. So because we were able to engage in a productive dialogue with opposing counsel and because our client decided that it meant more to her to be able to come back to work and get actually lifetime medical benefits too right. um, through the county if she was able to continue her employment, we were able to come together and she's going to be going back to work very soon. We're still going through the details of negotiating all of uh, where she's going to go. But that is a really feel good result in this case, because my client's going to be able to go back and help patients for the yeah. county of Los Angeles and make a difference in their lives. Our firm really focuses on what are our clients' goals? What do they want for their life? And then we're going to figure out a way to do our best to achieve those goals. And that's what we were able to do in that case. And it wow. makes me very proud. I'm very happy because she's going to feel so much better about life when she gets back into that workforce. Yeah, truly a case that made a difference, certainly in, in her life. And uh, I think that plaintiffs are often uh, mistakenly cast as people who are greedy and looking to have a big payday. And oftentimes they just want their life back. 
That's right. Absolutely. They don't want to have gone through all of this to begin yeah. with. And that's why it's so important for hopefully for an employer or their counsel to be willing just to listen. Um, and I, I constantly tell people that the cases that come to me, the cases that I take are the cases where people feel like this is their last resort. Because I want to I want to be able to go in front of a jury and explain that my client did everything she could to try to mm -hmm. avoid being here yep. um, and they just wouldn't listen and they wouldn't help. And that was wrong. Absolutely. Well, Jeannie, thank you for sharing that story. What a great example of a case that made a difference. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Send your questions or comments to Michael at Mike at HowDavidBeatsGoliath.com.